Achoo! Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. <laughs> Here's a simple one. Mm, how many letters in the name Metaton? Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, no. Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird. And welcome to Undertale. Here's our new menu screen. And this is part 11 where we're heading to Hotland. So if you do need to catch up, there's that playlist link right at the top of the description. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I hope you are enjoying the series so yeah, far. Yeah, um, I'm really wondering what we're getting into. I'm like, I'm assuming it's going to be towards the end with Asgore, but... It's just weird that everyone seems to be describing him as this, like, really gentle, King nice... King Fluffy Buns. Yeah, like, but he killed six kids. He was nice enough to send the shoes back to Toriel, though, no. so... <laughs> I think we're... I don't know how close we are to the end, but I think we're pretty far into it. We've done a lot of things, a little, little newt here, but they don't usually put, like, a lava area early on in a game, so I kind of feel hmm. like we're getting towards the climax, but we'll see... And uh, just navigating our way back through here, past the Temi village. And uh, so yeah, I don't know. I was, I was thinking about the last episode too. We got a lot of thoughts based on what Undyne was saying about Asgore and about different things. But I had a, a thought that, remember how we found that, that anime DVD? Oh, In the yeah. dump when we were fighting the dummy. I was just thinking, like, Undyne has this really embellished sense of what humans are like. I'm like, did she watch a box set of a series and <laughs> oh, learn and that... that's why she was, like, talking about the giant sword. Yeah, wielding swords I didn't even ten think times of that. their size. And were you still up to anything fun here? Bah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch my box. Just keep yeah, progressing. Yeah, because I thought, I thought it was just, like, um, like myths yeah. and stuff, but I didn't... Yeah. I guess you can interpret it either way. I didn't think about the, way. like, anime angle, thinking it's, like, a documentary. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, a lot of things you can interpret it either way, but <laughs> I just thought about that, because they're apparently exposed to our media down here. Ooh, that lava effect's pretty cool. Oh! What? Hello. Can we get some water for this guy? It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. I don't know what's going on with uh, Mr. Clamface. You just get to hold it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. Oh. <laughs> well, if you don't want well, it, then. I'm drinking it. The water evaporated from the heat. Okay, Aww. at least we didn't have to worry about the holding it. Too. Oh my gosh. Jeez, how hot is it down um. here? Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Should we head towards these uh, scary looking gentlemen here? Mm. Sorry. Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anymore, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. He was, like, woobling and wobbling. <laughs> that was strange. Was oh, weird. Oh, automatic doors, fancy. I wonder, I did kind of a deep voice because they're scary, but I almost wonder if they are dogs. Yeah, if they're, they're dogs. Oh, hello? Hello? R river sticks. Tra la la. I'm the river man. <laughs> That's not a good boy. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Should we ride in the boat? Uh, I guess. Where will we go today? Oh, we can go. Oh, cool. Ah. Uh, then we're off. I was going to say, uh, <laughs> the worst Grim Reaper. <laughs> Boys. Uh, I was going to say, maybe we should go back to Snowden because Undyne said she was hanging out with Papyrus, right? Tra la la, what's inside an acorn? It's really just a mystery. <laughs> Don't touch me or I'll kill you. <laughs> um, have... Oh, <gasps> that's what these are for. That's what that spot is. Yeah. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Because, <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what these weird little alcoves are that had nothing there. He's still hard at work. I want to know where the ice goes. Yeah. Where does the ice go? And other <laughs> questions my child asks me. Okay. I keep forgetting that we have a phone. Yeah, we could have just called him, but let's, but just, well. let's visit him. I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now. You two go together like pasta and burning. Yeah, we did burn <laughs> our new friend's house down. And here you go if your voice still has it in you. I can try it. Hey, punk! What's up? Achoo! 
Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. <laughs> so why don't we stand in Grillby's instead? Because I hate grease. <laughs> but you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. Pasta like a little, standards. A little comedy duo here. <laughs> All right, so l let's uh, travel back to Hotland, I guess, and we'll see you guys there. There's a dog on her boat. <laughs> tra la la have a ride. All right, we're going to take the boat back to Hotland, and uh, she might have something else to say. Then we're off. Really, oh, it's it, gonna. It is a dog. Whoa, <laughs> it's running. Did they have that face before? I don't think so. Jeez. <laughs> she switched boats. Tra la la, Timmy Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. <gasps> a hint in case we missed it. But we did, like, stumble onto that path, so we managed to find it. What? How did we get back around to Hotland? I thought the boat was gonna, like, turn the other yeah, way, but. Yeah, really weird. Come again sometime, tra la la. I was thinking about how, like, in Earthbound, the cars and buses won't, like, go the right way, so they have to, like, back up. They don't have all the sprites, so maybe that's hmm. why. We're going into the Are lab. Yeah, spotlight? Yeah, who is, ooh, tracking us with this creepy... Are we on TV? It's you. Hmm. It's too dark to see near the walls. What's going on here? Too dark. Okay, we can't look at anything yet. There's a big old bag of dog why paws. Why are we in a spotlight? Oh, uh-oh, someone's caught us. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Weird little lizard. Is that related to the, the one little monster? <laughs> Hello? Oh, do you want to be this uh, <laughs> scientist? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... <laughs> I haven't fed my Aww. giant dog. <laughs> <laughs> um... H hiya I'm Dr. Elphus. <gasps> I'm Razgore's royal scientist. Oh, so that's who Undyne was talking about. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. That's what a bad guy would say. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what a bad guy would say. <laughs> Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Uh -oh. Stalker. That's what all the cameras are for. Uh, your fights. Your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. Oh, she's the viewer. <laughs> so, so, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. Hmm. I know way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Don't go that way. If you go that way, you go right to Asgore's <laughs> castle. Well, actually, um... There's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something? <laughs> anyway, recently, I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti anti-human combat features. Oh, no. <laughs> of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Well, good going. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Did you hear something? It sounds like. I don't know. I've never heard a death robot before, but. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Jinx. Uh oh. What happened? The lights are out. <laughs> oh, is this. I can kind of see. It's. So it's a weird little robot. Wait. What should the. Should it have like a I'm I'm a I'm a radio yeah, a robot voice? Or... I'm a robot. Hello, Blue Skadoo. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, this is an entertainment robot originally. <laughs> that kind of works. Welcome to my show. <laughs> <laughs> but turning into papyrus too much. I gotta you know go a little more. Welcome, beauties. <laughs> you have the you have the funny pages for me to read that to today's quiz show. Whoa, <laughs> we're on a game show. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. 
Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Oh. Program to clap at the appropriate <laughs> times. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. All right. For one. What? <laughs> for what? Okay. Or you die. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, we're going right into it. Metaton oh, attacks. Aww. There's a little flower in her hair. Uh, let's check him out. 10 attack, 999 defense. Jeez. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. Oh. Uh, what's the prize for answering correctly? Uh, oh, more, more questions. questions. Probably. Oh, is that right? Sounds like you get it. <laughs> oh, she kind of like cheered it for you. Oh, the quiz show continues. Let's, uh, let's cry? Screaming is against the rules. <laughs> Here's your terrific prize. Uh oh. What, uh, what's the king's full name? Uh, Asgore Dreamer. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay, good. Yeah. Correct. Okay. I almost thought it was Lord Fluffy Bones. The quiz show continues. <laughs> Should we try to spare him, I guess? That's what we've been doing so far. Enough about you, let's talk about me. Mm -hmm. What are robots made of? Uh, metal and magic? Probably. Maybe. Yeah, too easy for you, huh? <laughs> the quiz show continues. There's gotta be, yeah, something we can do to break the cycle. <laughs> Here's another easy one for you. Hmm. Uh, oh my god. I don't... How um, much longer do both trains pass each other? What mm. happens if we don't answer? Uh, whoa! What? Wonderful! Really? I'm astounded, folks! <laughs> was it just... The quiz show continues. Okay. Well, don't count on your victory. What happens if you don't answer? Ooh, you're right. How many flies are in this jar? I, I feel like I have to try, but maybe... Yeah, let's just try... You know, the only way to win is not to play. <laughs> What's she doing? I don't know. Her... Or... Ah, completely, utterly wrong! Oh no. Okay, so Great that, advice, was, that Danielle. was a bad move. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eat my crab apple here. Let's play a memory game. Let's play a money making game. Uh, what monster is this? That's oh, a frog. Egg. Yeah. Ah, oh, boy, that's embarrassing, huh? What? 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 That was a it frog. It was like egg. a picture of a frog on him. Yeah, I don't know. What? Ah, uh, but can you get this one? <laughs> Let's see. Or would you smooch a ghost? <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Great answer. I love it. Uh, what do we do? Here's a simple one. Mm, how many letters in the name Metaton? Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, They're all changing. Uh, what the heck? Uh, no, no, no. Can't you read? Uh, we can't run from this one. There's gotta be something we can do. Uh, what if we keep crying? Screaming is against the rules. Time to break out the big guns. Uh, in the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? <gasps> oh, in the fourth chapter, But it's snail flavor, and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game. It's actually very powerful <laughs> message about friendship and... Um. Uh, Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. Oh, is she helping us Oh, is she going to help? She's helping us pick merch. She was like motioning when we picked the question answers. Maybe. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Uh, who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Probably Undyne, right? Maybe. Oh, sorry, I did that. <laughs> it's hard to know when. To... <laughs> See, Alphys, I told you, was obvious. <laughs> it was obvious. Uh, even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing Friend a fiction? domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Hmm. Well, well, well. Uh, with Dr. Alphys' helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance, more bloodshed. <laughs> Until next time, darlings. Ooh, are we getting out of this? And he just rocketed away like a gossip stone. <laughs> okay, we survived. I ran out of crab, crab apples, so we got lucky. Well, that was certainly something. <laughs>
Yeah, I should have been paying more attention to what she was doing because it seemed like she was helping us. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Or is it half empty? Wait, wait! I wanted to look at her computer and all her cool action figures. Let me give you my f phone number. Then maybe if you need help, I could... Aww. Wh where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. <laughs> wait a second, please. She's gonna upgrade our phone? Yeah, but is it gonna be like... Is this in our like, contract? There was screaming. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. <laughs> now we're officially friends. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little awkward. That's all right, so are we. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to the bathroom. I have my BS. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see here. Fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Is it a hot fridge? Ooh, let's take it. Got the instant noodles. Let me check those out here. And, uh, oops. So yeah, we got, we have a decent amount of gold if we ever find another shop. Instant noodles heals HP, comes with everything you need for a quick meal. Can we just keep taking the noodles? Because I am completely out. Oh no, it's filled with instant noodles and soda. We can't get any more, I guess. We're still it's a on computer. TV. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. So we're still being watched. Beat up figure of a human female with cat ears. <laughs> the teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. She likes soda. Seems like the notes are something, but it's all written oh, in chicken scratch. Oh, is that why Undyne has it? Ah, she's holding one for her, even though she doesn't like it. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... Ah, oh, can we look at the walkthrough? The garbage can. But it's pretty cute. Maybe we should try uh, calling somebody here. Oh, dimensional box A, dimensional box B. Let's try it. Let's just go in order. Ring, ring. You're in Alphys' lab. Is she there? Hey. Love her. <laughs> tell her I said hi, okay? Aw. And tell me how she's doing. And tell me if she needs anything. And uh, wait, no. Don't ask any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I goofed. <laughs> and Toriel. No, we picked up. It feels like she's just not gonna pick up the whole time. Dimensional box. Oh, we can get in our stuff out of the bot. Not that I want the dog residue necessarily, but we can yeah, get. Yeah, what stuff. is that for? I don't know. I'm saving it for a rainy day in case we need. Oh, we we have a uh, extra other box. Hmm. So more storage space now. All oh, she's right. actually in the bathroom. She's in the little dinosaurs room. It's bathroom sign. Can we go in? Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. She's like chilling out to the should, music or should we save or should we press oh uh there's no save point around here right yeah it's right outside hmm i'm curious there's like a couple well that's a, a down escalator scared. we can't <laughs> can't go that <laughs> way it's a video feed of your location yeah i think we're probably okay we got noodles okay. we're doing all right i'm not gonna follow metaton into that room yet because that feels like a bad idea oh you can just leave yeah what's upstairs though Let's see. There's gotta be more to this place. Ooh, books. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Let's read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. <laughs> this doesn't strike you as very accurate. So yeah, on yeah. The, mo the monster's entire understanding of human history is manga and anime, I guess. <laughs> VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons, or, you know, Western stuff too, probably. They're all labeled human history. Great. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book, it's a comic book. Two scantily clad <laughs> chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This sounds great. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Ah, yes, the past. The, en the energy pancake part, not the. Yeah. <laughs> All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book, it's a comic book. A hideous android is running a school with toast in its mouth. It's running to school, sorry. <laughs> Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. What is this? Pink Ugh. loop machine? Oh, pink goop, not gloop, sorry. Pink goop tubby drips custard. <laughs> from this strange machine. <laughs> new, new, with tubby custard. So I guess we can't take any of that. Not that I That's want it. That's a nice it. picture. Is that <laughs> Temi as like an anime Sailor Moon heroine? Looks like Alphys' work table seems dusty. Yeah, there's a chainsaw. Do those arrows mean anything? There are like actual pictures. Oh, look. Pictures. Okay. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. A dress? Okay, so there's like a house, a heart, uh, what is that, a duck? <laughs> and then a bunch of text. Remember that. Yeah, I don't know if that it's means important. anything. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. 
They're all unopened. Hmm. Why? It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. That's the wallpaper that Undyne has. An oh. incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw cube. Easy to, <laughs> easy to sprite as well, I guess. Okay. And whoa! This is like an airport thing. And we got a poster with Metaton. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap, it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Oh, thank you for making my dreams come true. I guess we should save. And uh, before we go into that hole in the wall where the robot sees it all. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. We're going to end out here and continue exploring Hotland next time. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Seeing such a strange laboratory. Yeah, it definitely was strange. And we'll find out more about it next time on Undertale. Goodbye. Bye.